All-Stars, and welcome to another episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges, brought to you by After School All-Stars Hawaii. My name is Miss Terry, and I'm the site coordinator for KL Middle School. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Please also follow us at After School All-Stars on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to connect with us. For today's video, we'll be learning how electric currents make their way through a circuit. Okay, guys, this is what you're going to be using for today's activity. Uh, some paper, any kind will do, whatever you have laying around will work. Uh, some scotch tape, aluminum foil, tin foil. Um, I have a wire cutter at home, so if you have a wire cutter, you can use that. If not, you can use a pair of scissors, but please be very careful with these, okay? Um, also, a Sharpie or a regular pen. Today, I am going to be using two different types of batteries just to see the difference between it. So I have a 9-volt battery and a AAA battery. And before you even start this, make sure you get your parents' permission so you can use an old strand of um, Christmas lights. So this is just a strand that we had laying around that I'm going to use for today. Make sure you ask your parents before you start cutting up your Christmas lights. Okay guys, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle on our piece of paper. And because I don't have a ruler, all I did was fold a piece of paper so I have a straight edge to work with. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pen and let's draw a rectangle. doesn't have to be perfect guys just try and get it as straight as you can don't worry about being perfect with it okay and you have your rectangle okay guys for step two you're going to take your aluminum foil and you're going to tear you off a piece you don't need that much maybe about i don't know 10 maybe 10 inches or so and then you're going to put shiny side down. You see how it has a shiny and a dull side, if you can see that? So you're going to put the shiny side down. Okay, zoom. And you're going to make a fold on one end. Try to keep your folds as small as possible because the bigger you make your fold, the longer it's going to take for the current to go around. So you just make your fold, maybe two good folds. And then you're gonna take your scissors, being careful. Anytime you work with scissors, guys, be careful. So what, do you, what you're gonna do is being very careful again, and he's gonna keep telling you, be careful. You're gonna cut along the part that you folded. Watch your fingers and just be very careful. Take your time on this part. And once again, you see my hands working, but I'm always watching where my fingers are and making sure my fingers are out of the way when I'm cutting. Okay, see, all my fingers are intact. That's why we'd be very careful. So you can put your scissors on the side and then this is what your strip is going to look like. Don't worry if it's a little off because what you can do is you put it back down, just the strip. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And you can work with it and just make it as straight as possible. So this is what you want to end up with, just a thin strip of aluminum foil. Okay, guys, at this point, I'm going to continue cutting my aluminum foil strips. I'm going to need maybe four of them. So I'm gonna pause the video right now. I'm gonna get my material ready and I'll be right back. Okay hey guys, at this point, you're gonna take your aluminum strip and starting at the bottom portion of your rectangle, keeping a little bit away from your 90 degree angle. You're gonna take some tape, 
just a little piece and you're going to tape down your aluminum foil like this. Now when you reach the other corner, don't cut it. What you're going to do is fold it to continue your circuit. And then you can take your tape and tape down your corner. And when you reach the end of this one, you take your other strip and you just continue on. Lay it on each other. You can overlap it a little bit. Take another piece of tape and you're gonna tape down the ends. And again, when you reach the corner, don't cut it, fold your strip. To reach the other angle of your rectangle and tape down this corner too. Just like that. Okay, guys, just so you can see, I adjusted the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Starting from this angle, I started my strip just a little ways away from the corner, and then I went around, and this is the fold that I was talking about. You fold it, and you continue. Here's my join where I ran out of strip, so I had to overlap it a little bit and tape it down. And then again, when I reached the corner, I folded it, and I continued on. This is one long strip right here. And then this is the last corner I did where I cut off the edge. It also, as you can see, it stops right before it reaches the corner. So just about over here, I'm going to put a piece of tape. Oops. Just so it stays right there. But I don't want to tape it right at the edge. I want to tape it a little ways back so I can lift this up if I need to. Okay, so at this point, this is what your rectangle should look like. And continuing on, what the first thing you want to do is take your last strip. I actually made too many strips, but you're going to take your last strip and you're going to measure it and stopping it once again right before the corners. So I actually only need this much of my strip. So careful again. I'm going to snip off what I don't need and put that on the side. And you're going to take your strip of tin foil, and you're going to put it right along that last line. Okay, so for now, this is what it should look like. And then I'm going to adjust the camera again and come back, and I'm going to show you what the edges look like. Okay, so as you can see from the corners, this is what I want you guys to focus on. My strips are close, but they don't touch on both sides. So this is what I wanted you guys to see. That when I put the strips around, this is one continuous circuit. And this right here is just that last circuit, leaving a little bit of gap in between each corner. All right guys, so for now you can put aside your rectangle and you can grab your Christmas slice that you got permission to cut and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull apart a bulb and you're gonna cut at least three inches so you want three inches of wire so being careful once again with scissors auntie gonna keep telling you this be careful with scissors you're gonna cut off one of the bulbs and this is what you want to end up with just a bulb like this with about three inches of wire left on it. Okay guys, what I did was I actually got two bulbs ready from the strand of light that you did get permission to use. So I have two ready so that way I can show you the difference between using the scissors and using the wire strippers. So the first technique is the wire strippers and this is the easiest thing if you can get it. If not, don't worry. I will show you how to use the um, scissors. So for now, I'm just gonna strip the rubber coating off of the 
wire so you can see the wires inside. So this is just a rubber coating protecting the outside. So this is what you want to expose is that wire that is in the lights. So you're going to do this for both sides. Okay, so this is what your bulb should look like. So what I did was, all I did was take off the rubber coating that protects the wires inside just so you can see the wires. So this is with the stripper. And then now I'm going to show you how to do it with the scissors. Okay, guys, as a side note, I want you to know that your safety is very important. So if you're not comfortable or you're unsure about how to strip the rubber off of the wire with the scissors, I want you to ask an adult to help you. Uh, don't be embarrassed. Just ask for help. So ask an adult if you're not comfortable doing this because the last thing I want you to do is get hurt. So please be safe first and ask an adult to help. Okay guys, as you can see, I adjusted the camera angle so that way you can see my hands and how I'm going to be using the scissors to cut that rubber coating off of the wire. So I have to stress to you guys, be careful. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to put it over the wire. You're going to gently squeeze it just to put a little bit of pressure and being careful where your fingers are placed you're going to give the scissors a twist. Okay, take your time on this one. Don't rush it, okay? So you're going to turn it back and forth, give it a little bit of pressure. Take off your scissors and put it down so it's out of the way. And then you see that little joint, if you can, in the camera? You're going to put your fingers right there and you're just going to give it a twist. And just add a little bit of pressure and you'll feel the rubber give. Ta-da! So this is what you should end up with. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna show you one more time on the other side. Being very careful, guys. You're gonna put the scissors on the wire, give it a little bit of pressure, and twist. Making sure your hands and your fingers are out of the way. Okay? Put down your scissors. Find where that cut is and give it a little twist. And as you're twisting, you're pulling outwards. And if it doesn't work, just go back. Just take your time. Once again, put the scissors on that cut again and twist. Being very careful, guys. Auntie's going to keep telling you this. Be careful. Okay, put the scissors back down. Find where that cut is again and twist and start pulling it apart and you'll feel it give. Just be patient and keep working that wire. Oops. Ah, you see it? It wants to give. There you go, guys. You see it coming apart? And that's why... Just be patient and keep working with it. Don't rush this process, guys, because the only thing we want you guys to do is be safe. So this is what you should end up with. Okay, guys, so move aside everything you won't need so you have a little bit room to work with. I'm going to bring back my rectangle. And then what I'm going to show you is to take the wires that you exposed and you're going to tuck it in the corner. So it's tucked under the aluminum foil on both sides. Oops, just like that. And if you look in my corner, you can see that it is tucked under, but it's once again, not touching. Okay guys, moment of truth. We're gonna take our battery and at the other corner where I told you make sure that the circuits are not touching, meaning the aluminum foil is not touching, you're gonna take your battery with the two sides, negative and positive, and you're gonna put one on one part of the tin foil 
and the other one on the other tinfoil. And if we do this correctly and we did all our work, that light bulb should come on. So wish us luck, let's go. There you go, all stars. Hey guys, one last thing I wanted to show you is the reason why I got two batteries is because I wanted to show you guys the difference between a nine volt battery which puts out nine volts of electricity and a AAA battery which puts out only 1.5 volts. So you already saw how the nine volt battery works on the light bulb. So I'm gonna show you how the AAA battery with only 1.5 volts works on the, um, the light bulb and then you're gonna see the difference. So starting at the corner again, I'm gonna lift up the tin foil. I'm gonna place it on one side of the battery and then I'm gonna take the other side of the tin foil and put it on the other side of the battery. And you're gonna have to look really good because the light bulb is gonna come on but you're gonna see the difference between the two batteries. Okay, watch this. See, can you tell that the light bulb is on, but it's really, really dim. So that's because it's only putting out 1.5 volts of electricity through your circuit that you created with a tin foil. So if I change out the batteries and lay my tin foil back down and take the nine volt battery, you're gonna see a big difference. And that's because there's nine volts of electricity running through the circuit that you created. Thanks for watching and being part of our All Stars Ohana. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to let us know what you think and what you want to see next. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.